I'm getting CPS called on my husband's cousins. TOMC January 10, 23. Originally posted by you, Fourth Air Betterment in R, True Off My Chest on December 30, 22. Updated as an edit January 10, 23. Trigger warning. Child abuse. Drug addiction. Original post. I'm getting CPS called on my husband's cousins. Last night my mother-in-law, Ellen, got a call from her great niece, Shirley, 12F, that Shirley needed Ellen to come get her. Ellen got her and brought her home. My husband and I were there at the time as well. Shirley admitted to me that her mother and stepfather had done something to her but wouldn't say what. I spoke to my husband that night about how afraid I was for Shirley and how I thought we should take her in if need be. We also talked about how if there was something bad, like abuse going on, we should call CPS. The next morning Shirley asked her mom to pick her up and she left. Ellen told me that Shirley confided in her the previous night that her stepfather had strangled her. A few weeks ago, Shirley also said that she had been to a mental health facility a few times in the last month or two because she was having thoughts of suicide. Shirley said she had tried to talk to her mother about what was going on with her stepfather and her mother was dismissive. I was in favor of calling CPS and everyone else. My husband, his father, and his mother were against it. They said that we don't know the full story or if Shirley was telling the truth. Shirley does have an attitude problem and I could see her doing things just for attention or because she's mad at her mom. They also said that it was going to be bad for her to go back into the system. I said it's going to be worse staying in that situation. My husband wanted more information before doing anything. Both Shirley's parents and stepfather have had drug problems in the past, but have gotten better for Shirley's sake. Shirley's grandmother has custody of Shirley, but lets Shirley stay with her mother. Grandma also has a drug problem. I spoke to my husband about talking to my therapist about the situation because it was weighing very heavily on me. However, I explained to him that if I say something, my therapist has to file a report as a mandated reporter. He told me not to. I went to my therapist and explained everything. Knowing full well she was a mandated reported. I came from a bad home life. I had wanted to kill myself so many times growing up. I wanted someone to get me out of that situation for so long. But no one ever noticed or did anything. There was no way in hell I was going to let that beautiful little girl struggle through some of the same things I have. When CPS investigates, everyone will know it was me. I gave information no one else would know. Even though I requested to my therapist that it was anonymous, they'll be able to piece it together. When everyone finds out, it will be a huge argument and I know everyone but my husband will be against me. But Shirley's safety and well-being are way more important than my happiness. I couldn't not say anything. Even though I run the risk of taking her away from her family even if she lied. Because if she didn't lie, I may very well be saving her life. I know that Shirley may very well lie to CPS to protect her mom because she wants to stay with her. I understand that Shirley may hate me because of this. I was the same way. So I get it. But none of that matters as long as she's okay. Side note. I made sure Shirley had my phone number. I made it very clear that I loved her. I understood what she was going through. And I would be there any time. Day or night. If she needed my help whether that be as someone to talk her down or to get her out of any situation. A commenter asks about the husband not wanting to call. Up. Oh. He wasn't so much opposed to calling CPS as he was more against calling right away. He wanted to gather more information first and find out what was happening. Update. The 10th of January 23. CPS got involved and Shirley is not longer allowed to be near the stepfather. The mother chose the stepfather over her daughter. 
Grandma is allowing Shirley to decide her own fate about adoption. Shirley is staying with her aunt for now. But my husband and I, as well as his parents, have made sure Grandma and Shirley know we are an option. Everyone thought it was me who called and I told them that I didn't call CPS. Which is technically true. However, now they're assuming it was Shirley's father who called and that can be a mess all in itself as Grandma may keep him from her because of it. He's not a great guy. But he does want to see Shirley. So I feel a little bad about it. But if I have any chance at getting that little girl, it seems best if I keep my mouth shut about it for now. My mother-in-law confided in me that she was glad someone called CPS. She was just too scared to do it herself. If this is true all the adults around this girl are quite awful. It's a well-known fact that domestic abusers are most likely to kill their victims when strangulation is involved. What more facts need to be present? This whole family sucks. Hearing that should have been an immediate CPS call. So much concern about the blame for calling CPS when it was an action OOP should be proud of. Husband wants to gather more information when that's literally what CPS is supposed to do. My home situation was nowhere near as bad, but it was bad enough that someone should have called CPS. I will forever carry the mental scars of growing up in a filthy house. Having screaming matches because I was expected to clean as a child in school and my mother did. Nothing. I will forever have breakdowns if a man grabs my arm or yells at me. It's messy. But I'm thankful that the child is finally being protected from the garbage parents in her life. Love how grandma has custody and still sends her ward back into an unfit home. What a terrible family. I am so disheartened that so many adults in Shirley's life were afraid to do the right thing. I'm glad Oop told her therapist. But I'm even a little sad that Oop didn't call CPS herself. At least now Shirley has a chance. Mom basically failed the daughter. Watch her beg her way back once the stepfather leaves her. All these assholes who don't want to ruin the adults' lives can go straight to hell. This child needed help and Oop was the only one to care enough. It is alarming that everyone was okay with this. Strangling someone is known to be the most likely sign a person will kill you. They were all going to stand by and watch this child die. If the options are, potentially save a child's life, and, but people will be mad at me. You go for option A. Especially when choking is involved. Because Shirley's odds of being murdered by her stepfather skyrocket if he's choking her. When in doubt, call. It's their job to do the investigation. Not yours. That's what they tell us in mandatory reporter training. I had to make a decision like that. With my family telling me exactly what Ops family told her. I did it anyway. It ruined my relationship with my sibling. But I have no regrets. I don't have a relationship with my sibling. But according to a family member who does. The kids are a lot better taken care of now and are even involved in activities, sports. The whole situation sucked but it also showed me. As a mother with my own kid. That I always need to be advocating for him because if it ever came to it I know now that I can't. Count on my own family to do it. It showed me how they handle this type of situation and I was completely disappointed. Even grandma is on drugs? Are we talking meth or a little weed? Nothing is more frustrating when adults refer to a traumatized child's behavior as having an attitude problem, rather than seeing it as a sign of abuse. So Happy Op had the guts to go against what the family wanted. I wish this reaction wasn't so common. 
I hope Op does not listen to anyone trying to dissuade her from being fully transparent with CPS at every step. I'm glad she got CPS called. Domestic violence where someone is strangled is pretty much the highest risk precursor to murder within the home. I don't I like anyone here. I hope Shirley is okay and will be okay. SMH. Enabler family. Straight up monsters. I feel like I read somewhere that strangling was an indicator of increased risk of murder. Glad she called. At the husband, wanting more information before he called, that's what CPS investigations are for. They can investigate and substantiate claims. And are trained to do so. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.